How's it going, YouTube? And I am here to explain how to use the fastboot method to install TWRP recovery. And this is for Windows PC, and I will not be responsible for any device breaking or boot looping, but I will try to help you with this in the comments if it happens to you. And the first thing you want to do here is download and install ADB and fastboot, which is in the video description. And then you want to download TWRP. If you actually go to the website twrp.me slash devices, you can search your device to see if it's available for your device. So I'm going to type in my phone. And here they don't have, I have the Mi 4, just the regular Mi 4 LTE. And it doesn't pop up, but I know the Mi 3's closest to the Mi 4. They're pretty much built the same. So I'm just going to use this one. And here, download links for TWRP. Just look for this and try and download it. Just download the latest version, which right now for me is 3.0.2. I'm gonna download this. I think I've already done that actually. Let me check my downloads. No, I have not. So I'm just gonna get to downloading this right now. Okay, so I'm just going to click on this one right here. Let's say to into my downloads and wait for this to finish. All right, so my download has just finished. So we're going to actually see where it is here. All right, so we have it here. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Get on your Android device now. Okay, and so on your Android device, you wanna go to your settings and scroll down to where it says about phone or about device and click on that and find where it says build number somewhere in there. And you wanna tap that about like seven or eight times. It will say you have now enabled developer options you want to back out and find where it says developer options in your settings click on that and scroll down and find Android debugging and make sure at the top that it says your developer options is on and that your Android debugging is now on now go back over to your computer and make sure you have downloaded the ADB file and look for that to wherever you have downloaded it and install it and what you want to do to Install it is open it up and just type in Y, enter, Y, enter. It'll install some stuff, Y, enter again. You'll have an installation wizard. Just click next and finish. It'll be all done. That'll exit out by itself. And from here, you want to open it up, which it will save in your OS hard drive, ADB. You can also put it on your desktop if you want to, but open it up. Hold shift and right click anywhere in the file screen. So I'm gonna hold shift, and right click, and open the command window here. And from here, you can type in ADB devices. If you have your phone plugged in right now, you wanna do that. And it should pop up. List of devices attached. My phone is not popping up because I already have it in fast boot mode. So I'm just gonna get it out of fast boot mode. Once you're like on your lock screen or your home screen, what you want to type in is ADB reboot bootloader. So ADB reboot bootloader. While my phone is still booting up, I'll have to wait to hit enter on that. And this is once you get onto the screen, it should put you onto a fast boot screen. And that's where you'll be able to install or flash your recovery. Okay, so my phone just booted up, so I'm just gonna hit enter now. So now that it's in its fast boot mode, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna show you how to flash it. You can boot it into your phone without actually having to flash it on. So like you can only start up the recovery from your computer or you can actually flash it and start it up wherever you are on your phone. So I'm gonna show you guys that first, but what you want to do is the TWRP that you downloaded, the image file, you want to copy this and put it into the ADB folder. If it's on your desktop, then put it on your desktop, whichever one you're opening up. And you can rename it also. I'm gonna rename it to recovery 
uh, twrp recovery twrp don't put dot image on that so did i copy this i'm just gonna copy this here you'll have to manually type this in and here since i named it recovery twrp that's what i'm gonna have to put in and i'm gonna put dot image and this will flash it onto my phone now and now that it's done flashing i can boot into it by doing fast boot boot recovery twrp dot image and now it should boot up on your phone screen within like 30 seconds and I'll give you an example of what it looks like on screen here and from here you're pretty much done it's installed on your phone now you have it all done and you're good to go peace out YouTube yeah.